Okay. Jonders, you can name your body deformities, whatever you want to name them. Hello and salutations to all. <laughs> Welcome to the newest edition of Joke Off. I'm your host, as always, Jonders. Uh, I'm joined by my co-host, as always, Emily Hyde. Emily, say hi. Hey. No, just once. Just once, I would. Okay. Uh, before we get to our guest, uh, programming note, we will be taking the next week off. We're going to move to a three weeks on, one week off schedule because me and Emily cannot handle looking through the news every week to the amount that it takes I, I can't emily i thought you were on the same page can you handle oh, the news i 100 percent um i used to spend all week writing these jokes and now i just do it in a day because i hate reading the news so much <laughs> the news is bad so don't expect us next week okay let's get to our guest um uh she, she is 10 foot four she is a sit down dramatic her name is claire sunby claire how the heck are you I'm, you know, doing anyone, doing the best anyone can, considering that the world is literally on fire. Ugh, my Ethernet cable's not plugged. Let me plug my Ethernet cable in. Okay, the world is on fire. I told my autometrist today that I'm miserable, and she was, like, shocked by it. We're all miserable. What is she talking about? She was confused as to why? I said I was miserable, yeah. And she didn't understand why? Aren't we all miserable? She also told me that's that That's ironic she thinks... that she couldn't see why. She was all, she, There's I th- a lot of things she probably doesn't see. Yeah. She's also She's a blind. COVID truther, I think. She doesn't think COVID's as real as it is, which isn't great. She's, she's, it doesn't matter. Well, that makes sense because you're in Indiana, Jonders. And as I've been telling you, you got you to gotta, you gotta get out of there, man. You got to get out of there. Um, Claire? Um, you do a thing where you drive to people's houses and you do comedy inside of their house very close to people. Yeah, and then I spit in their mouths right after. What do you, what do you actually, what is the thing that you're actually going to call? It's uh, like, I'm a part of a performance company called Isolated Incidents. It is me and two, uh, two of my former classmates that I went to college with. They're both musicians. And we go to people's yards and we perform at a distance of 10 feet or more for... Um, people and their neighbors. Normally we perform in their driveways or their front yards or backyards. We don't go inside the house. We don't co- come near them in any way. So it's like a super safe, isolated way to perform. And I do comedy and then my two friends do some songs. Okay, and I don't know how you're gonna take this. I would take this negatively if I were you, but okay. you're my second favorite Chicago comedian. That's fine that's with, fine i mean i'm i'm not my i'm not in my own top five <laughs> i'm not yeah i don't even know if i consider myself a comedian i don't know if i'm funny off what do you think emily do you think i'm funny jonders i tell you every week that i think you're funny and you never believe it so why <laughs> should i bother <laughs> you, have, you have the insecurity that most stand-up comedians have mm. at least at least i have something um okay so i won comedy queen last week uh, so maybe I am funny. Oh, you won on your own show? That makes sense. Well, it's it's not my show. It's me and Emily's show. All right. Well, you know what? Claire Claire hates me. That's fine. Favorite white comic? How about that? No. Okay, why would you do that? <laughs> do what? You're my favorite white comic. Who's your favorite? Well, I just, now I'm curious. Who's your favorite stand-up? Oh, Skylar. Higley. Oh my God. He's yeah. so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, I, I don't understand why he even talks to me. He's so good. He's you know, a million so, times better than I am and a million times better than I could ever be. I, I, I feel similarly related, but about myself, not about you. I will say my favorite stand up is Tito. Tito. I've seen him on shows that you've done, right? Yeah. I literally any show I produce, I have him on because I think Tito has like this effect where it's not what he says. It's how he says it. Kind of like uh, our friend Jack. Yes, exactly like Jack, yeah, Jack Allen. Allen. Like, anytime Tito says anything, I'm like, I don't know if I think that was funny if other people said it, but because <laughs> he said it, I'm going to piss myself laughing. All right. Well, that's been our five minutes of inside Chicago comedy, which doesn't exist anymore. Or it kind of exists. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, but now we're going to move on to the, the bulk 
of the podcast, mm-hmm. Emily, or not Emily. Hey, Emily, do you want to pick who goes first? I was going to have Claire pick who goes first, but Emily, do you want to pick who goes first, me or you? Sure. I think you should go first, Jonders, because usually you make me go first. All right. I have a, I have a great one right out of the bat. This is a great joke. I'm just going to tell you all right. Oh, build it up. Build it up some more. <laughs> Best joke ever written. Claire is not having any fun on this podcast. Can you, can you at least fake like you're having, you know, can I also say before the podcast starts, I tell Claire, hey, I'll, I'll slip you $5 if you just vote for me later. She says she can't Ooh, be bribed. big spender. <laughs> Hey, I got a Mr. Lincoln with yeah, your name on it. Buy like three gumballs with that. She says she can't be bribed, and then I'm like, "Well, how much? How about uh, she used to?" But then she says she'd be bribed in other things, just not comedy. I try to pay her off to be my best friend. Not good enough. I'm not as good as these guinea pigs. I'm upset. You're saying that like it's a shocking thing for me to have said. Why can't we be friends? Why you, can you Daughters, only have guinea pigs? We pig are friends. friends. <laughs> oh my god. We are friends. Thanks. This is the most Jonders conversation I think I've ever heard. I know. He's always like, why won't you be Do my Do you best hate me? And I'm Do like, you're funny. <laughs> I don't understand why. I, I just fundamentally do not understand why anybody would like me. So I don't believe anybody when they say they like me. Okay, here's my joke. <laughs> I'm like, wait, that wasn't it? <laughs> His life is the joke. It is, yeah. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, scientists have discovered this week that honeybees' venoms kill breast cancer cells in minutes. Finally solving the mystery as to why they're called boobies. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> boobies. All right. Every goddamn week, Jonders has a boobs joke. And let me tell you, I don't think I've yet to write a single one, Jonders. You have Maybe next boob- week, I'll have nothing but boob jokes. You do boob jokes. Don't even act like you don't do boob jokes. I can't, I, I can't remember a single one. I'm going to go back to the archives during our off. Go, go through every episode we've done. I will. See if there's a single All one. ten. All right. All right. That's pretty crazy news, though, that bees are curing cancer. I'm not surprised. Wow. Honeybees are are amazing. I watched this TikTok where this woman just scoops up bees with her hands. You guys. Claire, you want to? We should be watching her podcast. I love bees. You love bees. Have you ever seen yeah. the bee movie? No, I actually haven't. I'm going to, uh, your birthday already passed this year. I'm going to get it for you. I'm just going to buy you the bee movie. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a Emily, big, you, I'm sure it's a whole two dollars and ninety nine yeah. cents in a Walmart. I'm not saying like it's an extravagant. I'm not saying she should even thank me. I'm just saying I'm gonna make sure that she gets the B movie. I'll definitely okay. watch it. <laughs> Great. All right, Emily. Do you have a joke? Do you want to do a yes, joke? Yes, I have a joke. All right. All right. <clears throat> a fire started by a gender reveal party in California has spread over seven thousand acres and forced thousands to evacuate their homes. The pregnant couple say they only have their only regret is that they're having a girl. But, um, <laughs> I uh, I decided to go dark this week. Um, I did a joke, maybe that Claire heard. There, like a similar thing happened last summer, and one of my monologue jokes last year was about like congratulations, it's a demon. That was my punchline last year, and I didn't want to redo the same joke. So, I liked I liked the the girl thing though. Yeah. Yeah. I like the build up because I didn't think it was gonna go there. You know what there? Um uh, cis people. Am I right? Okay. Um how about okay, here here's one. This is a good one. Uh Pope Francis claims that gossip is a plague worse than COVID. Well that's nothing. I heard from Sister Joan, who heard from Mother Janet, who heard from Cardinal Dale that Pope Francis has two butts. <laughs> Okay, I actually really like that. <laughs> yeah, two butts. When he sits on that chair thing, I forget the name of the chair, he becomes infallible twice because he's got two butts. You, you know about that? The, the Pope sits in a chair and he becomes infallible. What does that mean exactly? It means yeah. he cannot lie. It's whatever he says when he's sitting upon this certain chair. It's the absolute truth. Oh. Yeah. You guys, Catholicism is weird. Yeah, I was going to hey. say... I. I went to Catholic school for 10 years and I've never heard that. Oh, it's a thing. I mean, I just thought that popes weren't supposed to lie, like, period. 
It's like he cannot lie. It's like a lot. It's a lot. It's a it's a liar liar situation. So he can he, lie, but when he's sitting in the chair, he can't lie. Yes, he becomes. I think it's liar, more liar. that what he says becomes truth because it's all just fucking fascism, man. Ooh, getting a hot take. Hot here. take. Hot hot political take by Emily Hyatt. Do you have any uh, searing hot uh, religious takes, Claire? That's why his hat is so big. It's full of secrets. <laughs> God, Jonders, I hate that you liked that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Emily, do you have a joke? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Is it my turn already? Okay. Isn't Emily Anna great? Yeah. Isn't, em- isn't Emily great? Yes. Yeah, she's great. Who my was saying, I'm you? not the one begging for people I'm to just say, I'm just saying that spot. you're my friend and you're a great you person. Me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm insecure. All right. We're all insecure. Everybody it's- hates themselves, Jonders. Especially. How do you deal with it? How, I'm all as you push it down. Oh, I push it down. I get tattoos and guinea pigs. What kind of tattoos do you have? I didn't know you had tattoos. Is I that too personal? Can you ask that? I mean, they're all visible. I'm sure you've seen them. I was just wasn't interested. Do you yeah. have a rainbow tattoo? I do. Yeah. I, see, I remember. Yeah. All right. You're such a good friend, Jonders. We think you're so funny. <laughs> anyway, Anna Ferris is leaving her sitcom mom ahead of the new season, which according to my grandmother is a show on television, but I don't think I believe her. Never heard of it. My mom really likes that show and I, and I broke that news to her and she almost cried. My mom really likes that show too. Moms love mom. Moms love moms. I swear to God, I had never heard of this show. It's the best Chuck Lore show. I've seen it. I've what seen does it. What does that even time. mean? They mean like it's it's okay. Okay. <laughs> it's it's not bad at all. It's 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 objectively fine. Okay, I'll take your word for Claire, it. What do you think? You've seen the show. I before. honestly don't. I feel like I haven't seen enough episodes to give uh, a decent opinion. Alice and Janie's great. Yeah, I like Alice and Janie a lot. Alice and Janie. She's doing a sick. She's the titular mom. Yeah, it's a good cast, but I I don't know. I feel like I haven't watched enough to give like a yay or a, a full yay or nay. Um, you guys notice there's a lot of 9/11 stuff in the news this week. Oh, um, Osama's ne- Osama's niece endorsed Donald Trump. Is this? Just- Oh, I thought this was a setup to your joke. No, I just noticed there was a lot of 9-11 headlines like, like, as we okay, headed to 9 11 again. <laughs> Y'all hear about this 9-11 thing? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear wow. about this crazy 9-11? Yonders, it's probably because this, it's like the anniversary week. Coming up, yeah. It still seems weird that like news, or news, news uh, businesses are like, hey, remember that 9-11? We found out more stuff. I don't think it's that crazy because I feel like when COVID happened, everyone kind of compared it to when 9-11 happened. I guess. And that our country was in this state of like, oh my God, what's going to happen? I guess, I don't know. All my teachers compared it to like 9-11. Emily, are you old enough to like have like a firm memory of what happened on 9-11? John Durst, how old do you think? I- I'm 28 years old. I have a very- Oh, I thought you were a little bit younger. What's up? Okay. I thought you were a little bit younger. Okay. like, Oh, I thought you were 12. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, we're, well, Claire, you I don't, right? Born 10 years ago, but I mean, no. thank you. No, I'm only 23. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, here we go. I have go. a whole joke about how I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it's one of my favorite jokes. That and the, the joke about uh, poop. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no context. Thank you. Well, that's half her jokes. Okay, okay here we go. No. Sorry, just go on. Okay. <laughs> Uh, people now believe that Osama has been hide- Osama bin Laden. You remember the 9/11 guy? So people now believe that Osama has been hiding uh, messages in porn uh, to communicate with his associates. Although this didn't always work, as most of the times Osama's associates just thought that he wanted to come on people's faces. Wait, can you read it one more time? Yeah, I, I did not understand that. I I, I don't know if it makes sense. Okay. Uh, (laughs) People now believe that Osama bin Laden may have been hiding messages in porn to communicate with his associates. 
Although this tactic didn't always work, as most of the times they just thought that Osama wanted them to come on people's faces. You know, Raj, I guess you guys probably... I don't know if that would land. That's how porn ends. Jonders, you should stop making 9-11 jokes. <laughs> I How's that even like a 9-11 joke? You did it one time on your show. How's that even a 9-11 joke? Oh, I guess you're right. Well, you, you prefaced it. You brought up 9-11. Which I just think why. it's weird that there's been multiple Osama bin Laden things in the news. What news outlets do you want? Do you read? It's all over the place. That the the these both of these things are all over the place. Okay, I didn't. I mean, I only looked at the news today, but uh, yeah, I honestly was like, I guess I'm not woke because I haven't heard anything about that. Wait, Jonders, is that is that thing? Sometimes you tell jokes that are based in fantasy. Um, is that a thing that they they actually think he left codes in porn? Yeah. Oh my let, me God. Find the, let me find the news That's outlet. just so weird and convoluted and unnecessary. I do remember that uh, when the SEAL team whatever strike found Osama, they were like taken back about how much porn he had in his place. So I thought this made sense because of that. Oh. Like that linked up with that thing that they said eight years ago or whatever it's been since they killed him. Oh. Let me see if I can find okay. the one. I don't know. Emily, tell a joke. Okay. Elon Musk intends to colonize Mars, despite studies showing that it would be both expensive and dangerous, because apparently the only thing more toxic than the air on Mars is Elon Musk's fragile masculinity. I do like that one. Oh, thank you. And I you love think making like jokes about Elon Musk. At the button. I can't find the headline. All right. Anyways. Um, yeah, he also, I couldn't figure out the joke, but there was also a headline about Elon Musk needs 300 willing to die people for first space launch or something. Hey, I hate Elon Musk. I hate Elon. Oh my God. I my thought that, that was a brand of cologne for so long. <laughs> like I literally thought it was a brand of men's cologne. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Not a bad name. It sounds like it. Do you want to smell pretentious? If I ever met him, I would pretend like I'd never heard of him before. Oh, oh that would be great. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I would just be like, who are you? And then I'd be like, oh, that's such a weird name. Anyway, never heard of it before. What do you do for a living? Yeah. SpaceX. No, I never, never heard of it. What do you do? I'd be like, oh, well, I'm a comedian. You've probably heard of me. I did Jonder's podcast. <laughs> Uh, and you're the opener for the live show. I mean, that's that's your real ticket into the Hollywood. Oh, that's right? true, yeah. Yeah, I already forgot. That's fine. Uh, what joke do I want to do next? Connors uh, um, almost always ends up doing like 12 jokes. I stick to the rules and do five. I'm pro oh, you're supposed to do five each? Yeah. Um, at, least four boats, bo- at least four boats sank during a Trump boat parade this past week. Although, to be fair, all these boats were old and had pre-existing conditions. It's like okay, a, I'm sorry, but I need you to repeat it again. I feel like I missed something. At least four boats sank during a Trump boat parade this past week. Although, to be fair, all these boats were old and had pre-existing conditions. Oh, I get it. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Are no, boat I, parades I, I a thing? I was thinking about that. Boat parade is definitely like the most pretentious kind of parade that you can be in like is biden having boat parades oh i doubt it like it's such a it was like let's all get our boats together and and i think you have too much money to around go. like what do they do let's all get our boats together and wave at each other from our boats <laughs> yeah and let's people do will just like watch on land, but let's do it on sea Let's, people will watch us drive around the lake. Like, what? 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 Dumb. Anyway. I do think, I agree. I can't wait to get canceled 10 years from now because they're like, you hate boats and we have proof from this podcast. <laughs> what did boats do to you? You're a boatist. Claire Sunbeam's a boat bitch. She hates boats. <laughs> I think that's good branding. I think that should be your, your name. A boat? Uh, yeah. All your bios on all your social media. Yeah. 
fucking hate boats and I'm not afraid to say it. I actually like boats. I, wanna Actually, say I want to vote so bad, you guys. I hate to ruin the illusion, but yeah, boats are fun. Now you're going to get canceled for lying. I'm an actor, baby. Baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, Emily, do you have a joke? I do have a joke. I hate this joke, but okay, let's do this. All right. <clears throat> In an attempt to save money during the COVID pandemic, Taco Bell is getting rid of several menu items. This is the first time Trump has ever faced repercussions for his actions. Not the Mexican pizza. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Can you say it one more time? I feel like I need to do them a second time. I hate this joke. Jonders always, I told Jonders I didn't have five jokes. And so I came up with this one. In an attempt to save money during the COVID pandemic, Taco Bell is getting rid of several menu items. This is the first time Donald Trump is facing repercussions for his actions. No, the Mexican pizza. Okay, okay, I think I do. They serve Mexican pizza. So they used to. They had a Mexican pizza. And they also had potatoes, and they had a lot of things they'd taken off the menu okay. because restaurants are trying to save money, so they're making smaller menus. And the one thing Trump loves is fast food. Okay, um, I do remember seeing a picture of him with like a burrito bowl, and he was like, "Love Mexican food." They make the me- best Mexican food here in Trump Towers. God. I hate him. Um, I don't Almost know. As much as I hate that joke. Ugh. I think I've told all the jokes that I like. And I only have oh, 20 other jokes. I know you wrote more jokes than four. Yeah. Um, a new study shows that nearly 100 common drugs cause memory loss. Cause memory loss. What oh. if I did the podcast? <laughs> Wait, what if I just ended the, that wasn't even the punchline. Uh, a new study shows that nearly a hundred common drug, co- what if I just ended the show? I'm just going to end the show. I'm not having fun. I'm upset. Last time, a new study shows that nearly a hundred common drugs cause memory loss. I would list them, but who could possibly remember them all? Mm. Just, just take me out. You know what? Take me out back. I'm done. My comedy career is over. Can I give you guys like a lightning round or something? <laughs> lightning round. I think, we're both on our, I think that was my fourth joke, right? We got, I got one more joke, yeah. I got yeah. one more joke. So this is the lightning round, Jonders. All right. Keeping up with the Kardashians, next season will be their last. So now, if you want to keep up with the Kardashians, you'll have to, I don't know, continue to have eyes and ears. They're everywhere. They're not hard to keep up with, you guys. That's my last joke. Okay. It, here's... It's a oh, really strong week this week. I'm telling you, I, I don't think this is the right audience for this joke. I'm still doing it anyways. Also, maybe there is an audience for this joke. Uh, famous gambler Michael Jordan has joined a sports gambling website, DraftKings, to be on their uh, board of advisors this week. He's quoted as saying, what, it's not like they can kill my dad twice. <laughs> they murdered his dad because of his gambling debt. All right. Wait, what? I did not know the context for that. Backstory, right? Um, it's uh, Michael Jordan's father uh, was murdered right in the 90s. And many people think it's because, you know, Michael Jordan liked to gamble and he was uh, in debt a lot. And a lot of people think that his father was murdered because mm. of his gambling debts, his outstanding gambling debts. What? Well, that just put me in an, a sad mood. Okay, how about this one? Um, this, is a, this one has a, a, different, this is a, a different sports one, but it has a interior outlook, I think. Um, uh, COVID, or, so corona deaths are significantly reduced in patients who are also taking steroids. In unrelated news, Mark McGuire is still immortal, baby. <laughs> he did all those steroids in the 90s, you know? Yeah. I don't know who that is. He, uh, he, he played uh, baseball for the Athletics and then the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay. okay. He uh, he hit uh, a ho- he hit home runs, and then um, he went like this to his bros. Like he'd go up to his bros and do this. Okay. 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 Um, Claire, I would like to give you the option of um, for the first time in joke off history to just not name a winner, and then we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just like I was literally just sitting here and thinking, and it's like overall, I preferred. Emily's jokes more than Jonder's jokes because Emily's jokes didn't make me upset about 
things that have happened in life, but mm-hmm. I laughed the hardest at the at Jonder's joke about the Pope having two butts. <laughs> so it's like my favorite joke was Jonder's jokes, but oh. overall consistency, I uh, appreciated the the jokes from Emily more. I think I have more jokes I could I- tell. A new study shows that some plants can help detect human bodies in the woods. These are called rose narcs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but the Pope one made me, like, laugh. <laughs> um, Kanye West claims that God made him interrupt Taylor Swift at the VMAs. Many theologians are saying this is the biggest dick move by God since the Old Testament. Meh. All right. I think those are all the jokes I wrote. So, Claire, pressure's on. Uh, you can name me the comedy queen. You can name Emily the comedy queen. Or in a, uh unprecedented move, you can just declare yourself the comedy queen. Um, it's a tough call here. Mm-hmm. Very tough. Okay. <laughs> I will be devastated. I hope that you guys can all understand why I'm doing this. I am doing this for Jonder's crippling self-esteem and that I am crowning him the comedy queen because I think he needs it. And I think Emily is a strong woman that doesn't need it. <laughs> yes. Being pathetic always works in your favor, Emily. That was a pretty cool. spot on evaluation of the both of us, Jonders. I know that you know the quality of your material is amazing <laughs> and you don't need this title, but Jonders needs it. Two weeks in a row, baby. Comedy queen. Jonders is going to go into, into their date tomorrow so fucking confident. I am. Mm. I'm going I'm 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 to tell her all about how I'm a comedy queen. All right. Uh, so Claire can be found on social media. I did not look up her things. If Claire, if you want to tell them. Uh, oh, like, my handle is yeah. uh, at Lil Shrimp Snack. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's very fun. Um, then there's at EM underscore Hyatt and at Jonders FPT. And then, uh, I think that's it, everybody. Uh, you say, Claire, do you have any final thoughts? Um, what's the likelihood of you doing this podcast ever again? Very likely. Oh, very likely. Okay, sweet. All right, cool. All right. So at I some point, Claire's going to again. perform without pants on. I'll do it. All right. Good to know. Um, yeah. So uh, see you in two weeks, everybody. Uh, bye. Get home safe. Thanks for oh, having no. me. Oh, yeah. Thank you for being a guest and subscribe and do five stars. People listening. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.